Okay, so it's all cooled now, so I'm gonna have to clean it out a little bit because this is the uh, piece that's going on, the 45. And see, it's a little bit tight to fit in there, so I'm gonna clean it out with some sandpaper and, you know, chipping away at the pieces that are still in here. So. So I'll get that done and I'll get back to you. Okay, so existing pipe. What I'm gonna do is just follow the same dimensions as this pipe. So this was the piece that I put inside. This is the female fitting. My second 45, I'm gonna test fit it all the course. Probably have to make this pipe a little longer to match up. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't have it doesn't have to be a perfect, the exact perfect length, but I wanted to get it pretty close. So we're so gonna cut my piece eight inches. I'm gonna cut this piece for the first piece eight inches. And then I can uh, trim it down if I need to. Okay, I have my saw set up. Cut a little bigger than eight inches. bit there's nothing for any of the waste paper to get snagged onto so that's the piece I'm gonna do a test fit see how it fits Maybe I need to make this shorter or longer. We'll see when we get out there. Okay, so new test fit. Nice. Then the original one was about there. So it's about an inch longer, but it's going to be okay because it's going to be easier to hook up my sewer tank. I'm not going to go so far in to hook up the sewer tank. I'll put a new strap, a new metal banding strap around here where that plastic was to give it more more hold it up tighter but you won't have enough room so that you know it's easier to get this this piece on which is quite a bit of room here okay, got two inches so i'm going to glue this section of pipe together first glue this section together just like this and then probably going to get a little bit of solvent just wiped off in there and make sure there's you know nothing in there so I have it all laid out the way it's going to be glued. Um, I don't know if you can see on here, but there's there's like the lines where it was uh, molded together, and that's how you can use them to keep to make sure that they're they're you know not off off kiltered. These lines here, so you make sure that they're not off kiltered, and they're giving you the perfect angle by lining up those lines when you glue them together. So I'm just gonna wipe inside a little bit. Position how I want them. And I'm going to coat the inside liberally. Okay. 
I'm just going to line them back up again. Make sure they're the right way. And press them home. That's it. That part's glued. I'm going to just let it set for a bit and then we're going to force the end piece into the uh, male end that we cleaned out and then strap it back up. So, do a test fit again, make sure. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to glue it on now. So like I said, I'm going to use a liberal amount of glue in here. Make sure everything's filled in good. I'm gonna just coat the outside. I know it's not required, but I did some work in there, so I don't want it to to leak out. Just filling the little gap in with the, the, the glue. Okay. <clears throat> See if we can get this piece back up. Run the gas line through first. Some, uh, some caulking around there, some uh, adhesive caulking. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Some caulking up in here and hopefully help seal it.
Okay. Put some tape on here. This is some waterproof tape I bought. See how it works. So that's it, the end of it. The only thing I need to do is get the handle that I have ordered and a new end cap because one of the one of the edges broke off. So that's it, that concludes the video. So, I mean, UXO scale of, this should probably be a six, but uh, it's not like challenging or anything. It's just kind, time consuming. This repair, I would say, if you would bring it to an RV dealer, it would be about six or $700 to do this. And the parts probably cost me about 50 bucks and a couple of hours of my time. So save yourself a lot of money by, by doing these little projects. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Have any comments down below? See you in my next video.